Oh, we love comparing gas cars to electric cars, but I don't think too many people have actually compared uh, them side by side, really, uh, when it comes to cold weather driving. And right now I figured it's the best time because if you're outside of uh, the United States, I don't know if you've heard, but we're having this polar vor vortex going on, which frozen, you know, half of the country. And there are a lot of reports coming out, you know, mainly from Tesla drivers, just because there are more Tesla cars than any other really electric cars right now. Um, as far as sales are concerned, uh, uh, that 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 you know that people are having a problem, and then people like Rush Limbo and many other comes from CNC, your electric cars suck. But I actually wanted to uh, point out some of the things that you know. Mm, yes, they're right. There, there, there are some disadvantages, but there are so many advantages that we just don't think about it. So I just want to make sure to bring it up to you guys, because for those of you us who've driven electric cars for a while, we almost take it for granted. So I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Take it over the world. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And if this is your first time here, that's okay. I've only been doing it for like two years, but I'm not mad. Just all you have to do is click on that subscribe button. That way we will be together forever and ever and ever. Because there are so many exciting news uh, every day and, and I'm excited to tell you guys all about it. By the way, let me give a quick shout out to uh, uh, to one of my new Patreons, Jeff Niedermeyer. Thank you so much for joining my uh, Patreon community. That's the only place you can actually watch this live and interact live with me. And um, I do this thing called Extra Mile where I interact with just my Patreons. And actually I just uh, give some of the information that I don't always feel comfortable giving out on, on YouTube. So if you want to um, join my Patreon community, watch me live and support this independent channel, just go to my description. There is a discount code. No, there's no discount code. There's a link. <laughs> See how automatic my brain is now? There's a link uh, to my Patreon community, which is patreon.com slash e electric All right, let's get back to this. Um, electric cars versus gas cars. Now let's start with some of the things that uh, we kind of uh, know. And, you know, today, you know, yet another, you know, BMW uh, released these pictures. And I have a video separately about this, um, that they're all trying to test this electric car, just like they do with gas cars, you know, in a cold weather. Because as we know, the biggest problem is the battery, right? The batteries don't give out as much energy uh, as uh, they they do in the regular weather, um, and uh, you know a lot of times you'll see that your power is limited, and also that you know the regen doesn't put as many uh, of those back, um, and that's another problem. But nevertheless, um, you still have uh, quite a few ways around it. Uh, with Teslas, especially, you can actually preheat your battery in your car, and uh, you will st the car is still plugged in, so you're really not even you know, emptying your battery, you're just heating it using the um, the energy that is just going to replenish as it will turn itself back on to recharge um, as that energy being used. So that's actually a pretty good way to handle it, especially to get the car out of the garage already uh, with a preheated battery. And, and uh, um, a lot of times you can also preheat, uh, you know, the entire car for yourself um, inside. Um, now, Granted, I'm still not quite sure with all the testing that, that Tesla has done that there were problems with, you know, freezing windows, uh, freezing charge ports and freezing door handles, which means you can't charge the car, you can't get in. I know they released some uh, fixes for that. I don't quite understand how it's possible that they fixed it. I have not heard people continually complaining about it, but let's give it some time, of course. Um, but the fact that they've, you know, produced all these videos and testing and they haven't thought about such simple things is still a concern to me. But let's talk about things that are actually better uh, than the S cars, because I feel all of these things are, 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 are essentially, you know, just uh, there's a there's a workaround um, and it's not that big of a deal. Or like, you know, I think I, I don't know why I looked at the article by Rush Limbo. I mean, I know why, because I was like, well, what crazy thing is going to say right now? But he was basically said that the electric cars stop working when it's cold. <laughs> That's what he said, which is not true. They're still working just as is not as as efficient and is not as um uh, uh, with not as uh, energy available uh, either way. So be before I start telling you guys what these advantages are, of course, I want to remind you that uh, this video and this channel is sponsored by Starman Gift, so the home of the adventures of Starman. Here's my copy right here. You should get one yourself, especially because we are the only place where you can get a discount for this one. It's in the description of this video, and it's good not just for this book, uh, but also for everything they sell there. And this is a great way to relive the launch of the Falcon Heavy. All right, so here's another video, by the way, from, from this is like, this is I think 2012 video, uh, uh, Tesla testing their cars uh, in the cold. 
so enjoy that while I'm talking about it. But um, the, uh, the, the there, there are three advantages that I thought. Now, the very first one is that you can preheat your car just like you can pre-cool your car when it's too hot um, using your app. Um, and you can do it for a while and it won't jeopardize your battery because in gas cars, yes, you can do it, but then you can kill your battery because it's cold and that's the only source of energy while you're not in the car. But with Teslas and pretty much all electric cars, it, it really comes from the same battery. So, and by the way, it's still plugged in. So it will replenish that battery as the car is being uh, heated up. And even if it's somewhere out and about, it really doesn't take that much energy. To be honest with you, to me, it's one of my favorite features, one of the things that I really liked the first time I saw a Tesla prototype in 2012 uh, before I put my deposit in. So that's a big deal. Um, secondly, <laughs> you know, it will start. Uh, the gas cars, I don't know if, I know a lot of my viewers are in California, but just so you know, I'm from Russia and remember that cars just won't start when it's too cold because of the, uh, uh, you know, 12 volt battery that's, that has to power this, you know, pretty much ice cold uh, uh, engine where the electric car will start no matter what. It will complain about how it's not getting that much power from the battery, but you don't have to worry about it. And I think it's a pretty, pretty important thing uh, and a pretty a big advantage of the car starting versus not starting. So that's number two. I should have put it, put it number one. And don't forget, number three is that you don't have to, and, and this, this goes to pretty much any advantage of electric cars over gas cars. You know, you don't have to stop by the gas stations, but when it's freaking cold, that even that that stop is even uh, a more tedious and and a crappy experience. Um, but even you're driving an electric car, you just don't have to worry about it because you pretty much charge it at home as you should. So I would say those three at the very least are by far making the electric cars are much more uh, are reliable and viable in the cold weather. So just because this is the right time, I wanted to I wanted to kind of uh, make those points. Did I miss something? By all means, go ahead and put it in the comment section because I'm sure there are quite a few other ones that are just maybe overlooked. I just just saying those are the, the most important ones to me. So looking forward to that. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.